everyone. Thank you for coming in to join our CNY tutorial. I'm Helen. I'm Alice. Today, we are going to present you the CNY delicacy, which will be eaten during, during Chinese New Year as an auspicious meal. So today, we are doing yam cake and tang yuan. Yeah. So tang yuan is actually a very uh, dish. It's a very nice dish that you can do for reunion because it symbolizes togetherness. So you can gather your family members, young and old together to cook and bond together. Do you know Tang Yuan is actually eaten on the last day of Chinese New Year, which is next Monday, oh. right? It symbolizes a reunion and roundness at all, uh, for all. So because Chinese New Year, it falls on a new moon, Day and on the 15th of Chinese New Year, the last day of Chinese New Year is actually full moon, Ooh. so it re represents that. I At see. the same time, it is also the Chinese Valentine's oh, Day. Yeah, okay. So today, we're going to introduce you the yam cake. And do you know how to choose a good yam? So, when you buy a yam from the market, first you look at the shape. It should be round or sometimes it's slender. The, the Malaysian one is slightly longer and slender. But how to choose whether the yam is you know, soft in there when you cook, it doesn't have the hardness in there. Mm -hmm. So you need to look at the yam, take the yam, just flip a little bit at the base of the yam and then you touch it. It needs to be a little bit sticky. Okay, then that is a good yam. Right. All right. So, do we choose a Thai yam or a Malaysian yam? I would personally prefer a Thai yam mm. because the Thai yam, most of the time, they are good. Malaysian, it depends on the season. I see. So, we shall start. Before we start, I think we need your help to like and share our page. Yes. Please let, help us like and share so that others can come in and have a look at how this tutorial runs today yes Thank you. okay so before we start and allow you time to like and share for for us i will introduce you the ingredients that is needed for all kui i'll be doing the yu tou gao so you need uh dry shrimp yeah so this dry shrimp is 25 gram you also need mushroom so this mushroom uh my mushroom is a bit small if let's say you have medium size four to six will be good enough if not, I usually put a lot more. <laughs> I like it fragrant. So garlic shallot, garlic about 15 gram, shallot about 40 gram. But don't you worry about all these numbers. Uh, shortly after our FB Live finish, we will post the recipe out into our page. Okay, so stay tuned. And of course, the main ingredients, the yam. Okay, so usually I will cut it very small because I like it very small. But if you prefer more kogan, more uh, texture to your mouth, you can cut it bigger. Yeah, all these are very individual. There are recipe, in fact, put in the chunky yam and let Thermomix chop for you. So you can do that too. It's really individual. All right, then we definitely need some water, 500 gram. We will need fish sauce, about 10 gram. And here we have, I have mixed tapioca flour and rice flour and some salt. So this is the one that I'm using, okay? So we have tapioca flour, 30 gram, rice flour, 120 gram. Take note, yeah, uh, this is rice flour, not glutinous rice flour, yeah. Glutinous rice flour is that department, not this department, yeah. Okay, so this is rice flour, and this rice flour is 120 gram. So this is all, uh, of course, some cooking oil to stir fry the yam later. So this is all about the ingredients needed for yam kui. And for tang yuan, what you need, the main ingredient is glutinous rice flour. Okay, glutinous rice flour. This one, if you see the packaging, is different. One with the red lettering and one with the blue lettering. Okay, so just remember, you don't mix it up and then 
if you use this to make your tang yuan, your tang yuan will be hard. Okay? <laughs> and if you use this <laughs> to make your yam kue, your yam kue will collapse. <laughs> and also become very sticky. <laughs> of course, then for tang yuan, actually you need any type of feeling that you want or you can just do it plain. And do you know that uh, there are two times in a year we eat tang yuan? One is during winter solace, which is uh, what they call the uh, Chinese harvest period, the time you eat that, and also on Yuan Xiao Jie, which is the 15th day of Chinese New Year. So, ah, not it's Dong Zi, okay? So this one, okay, this black sesame seed, okay, today I'm using black sesame seed. You can actually have peanuts, red bean, or even nothing in there, or even uh, 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 some other uh, ingredients, the, some can use chocolate as well, okay? Fusion way. And for coloring, I'm using natural coloring, which is from the red yeast. Okay? And of course, dessert, you must have sugar and butter. Okay? If you don't like butter, you can actually use uh, cooking oil. Okay? Right. And for the seasoning of the, the soup, the tasting of the soup, I'm actually using uh, osmentous flowers. So it gives that fragrance, okay? Mm -hmm. And of course, water. So back over to Helen. Okay, so I think we are ready to start because you have already liked and shared our page to many friends, right? If you have not, please help us to do it, okay? All right, we shall start. Okay, so... Okay, so when we start now, we are going to toast... Uh, this has been toasted, so I'm going to make the uh, paste, okay? So I'm going to add in the black sesame seed, toasted black sesame seed. And how much gram is that? That is a hundred gram. Mm. Okay. All the recipes will be given to you after the show. And also sugar, 60 gram of sugar. Okay. And then I'm going to use the turbo mode. Have you all before? Okay. Come. Let's see. The turbo mode, which is... 10,700 RPM. So I'm going to just do it for six seconds. Okay. Now you see the sound is no more. Okay, let's go back home. And I'm going to show you. What's your favorite features of Thermomix, Alice? I love the weighing scale. The precision of one gram, even the most expensive uh, Tanita ta, uh, ta weighing scale cannot compare with the Thermomix. Oh, I okay. see. So now you have a look at it. Right? Wow. Okay, so it's all well blend. How many seconds? Six seconds. Six seconds. Okay. And now I'm going to add in the butter, which is 50 gram of butter. Okay. And I'm just going to blend it together to form a dough for 15 seconds. Everything in seconds. Can you believe it? Only Thermomix can do it. Okay. There is in fact a recipe in cookie dough for this, which is in Chinese, okay? Okay? Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out and form into balls. Wow, the texture is really good. And it smells really good. Yes, because the toast is... Yeah, Miss Hao Xiang, Hao Xiang. <laughs> Those who just know me, yeah, my nickname is Hao Xiang Hao Xiang. Because when I do my FB live, usually my food are usually very fragrant. So I always have this habit of saying Hao Xiang Hao Xiang. Ah. Mm. <laughs> okay, so with this, do you know there's a cleaning mode in here? The pre-clean, I can do that. Alright, uh, maybe Helen can help me. Alright, so then I'm going to show you this, how to form the... 
ball. Okay, so what I do now is that with this, I can actually make 20 to 22 balls of this, okay? So what you do, you just have to form it this way. Just pinch and just use your palm to roll it into a ball like this. No need to measure like yeah. You can measure it if you want. It's about 10 gram each. Ah, so 10 okay? gram. About 8 to 10 gram. It so depends just on how it into a ball. Yes, that's right. And then what you do after rolling it, you got to refrigerate it. Okay? Mm. You have to refrigerate to let the butter set. Then it will not be soft when you wrap it around the dumpling skin. Okay? Mm. So now over to Helen. Oh, that's how you do tuck means fillings. So you all can type in yeah what else what kind of feelings that you like yeah in uh, Tangyuan so that we can have some communication yeah uh, definitely our marketing will definitely answer you accordingly yeah so you come in with your questions and we will help you with it yeah for those who are new to Thermomix this is really very good tutorial for you to know Thermomix even better all right so we shall start our yam kue preparation yam kue is really very simple my mommy do it uh, almost two to three times a year. It's quite tedious. Yeah, but with Thermomix, it makes things really easy. So we shall start. Okay, so we just put garlic and shallot into the mixing bowl and we will put dry shrimp. Okay, the dry shrimp. Okay, don't worry about the grams or this. Yeah, it will be shared later. Then of course, the mushroom. So some people ask, do you use the Japanese mushroom or whatsoever mushroom? Usually, I get my ingredients from Tek Siang. It's a where, uh, wholesale uh, market thing. So I find that they are very good. So you will cap onto your mixing bowl and then you get it to chop for you. Okay, so it's at 5 seconds, speed 5. 5 seconds, speed 5. Yeah, this is what I call twinkle, twinkle. Five seconds, speed five, twinkle, twinkle. So very easy to remember. Whenever you want to chop things, just twinkle, twinkle. Okay, so this is what you see. Okay, all right. Okay, all means up. So easy. No need to take chopping board and chop, chop, chop. Okay, so with that, I'm going to scrape it down. Always scrape down because the base is where the heating element is. Okay, then your things will be very nicely straight. Then put oil. Okay, if you're not sure how much you don't like the aggaration, you can always measure. So oil is about 50 to 80 grams. Depends on your ingredient. Some people like to do more, some people like to do less. Okay, so 50 to 80 grams and then you saute it for about 3 minutes. Okay, three minutes at 120. For those new user, cooking we usually use 120. Slow cook, then you do about 100. We'll also do, but generally I will use 120 faster, and then you just give it a stir. If you find it too slow, you can always up to speed one. So you see, when you have thermomix, it's really very versatile. It's just like your stove, 大火小火. Small fire, big fire, it's up to you to choose. So it's really very flexy. So no need to worry about this little friend. And she is a very, very helpful friend. Yeah? Okay, so you haven't got your thermal mix, quickly get your thermal mix. Our stock just came in, but it's also going out really fast. Alright. So while Alice is still busy, we will just continue with this stirring. Then this yam, like I said, you can cut it into small cubes or either chunky and let Thermomix chop it for you. If you prefer to chop it uh, for this yam, you just cut it into chunk, like 3 to 5 cm will do. Not the whole thing go in, yeah. uh, you must protect your blade. 
All right. So you can cut it up into like four to five pieces, chunk, chunks, and then you put in same thing to chop five, five, five seconds, speed five. Okay. I like it cute. What do you What do you like usually when you do I, okay? I will have a mixture of big and small. Mm. So what I do is that I'll keep some big chunks, and then the rest I'll throw in there to blend it because mm. I like the the yam to be infused with the with the rice flour mixture mm. yes that's right yeah my mommy one is big chunks too mm. but i small ma <laughs> <laughs> you all laugh la. don't laugh la. <laughs> all right so while we are sorting mm, you want ma? Yeah. Okay. So with Helen, mm. whatever dish we cook is always hen siang, hen siang. So must come and watch our tutorial. Whenever Thermomix share with you, come in and join us. Yeah? Alright. So um Okay, over to me. I have the glutinous rice flour. I'm gonna make the dough now, okay? So you just add the glutinous rice flour in and water. Okay? And what you're going to do is just use the kneading mode. Have you all used the kneading mode before? Okay. Kneading mode and just 30 seconds. I love kneading mode. Kneading mode is my favorite features of Thermomix. It's really easy. So the day my mommy came and she's so surprised that Within an hour, I can do like three loaves of bread. I say, oh, I just get it to me and then just wait for it to cool. And she's so pleasantly surprised. She knew it, lah, but she just surprised. Okay, three minutes up. So there goes all the nice, nice fumes. Next, you will just add in your yam. Okay, so my yam is about 350. If you like big, uh, a lot of... Uh, bigger tuaseng, uh, bigger portion of yam, then you have to put more. Lah, okay? So some of the people at this stage, they still add oil. It's really up to you. But today, I'm not adding, and I'm just going to let it stir for another six minutes okay, to get the yam, uh, set the yam as well, uh, more fragrant. Okay, 120, and I'm going to do a reverse, and I'm going to put it at speed one. Okay, that left us with just the mixture and the liquid. Okay, over to me. You look at 30 seconds. You can actually see that it is coming together. But if you see that it is all still not forming, but it is fine. How to check whether the texture is right? So you just have to make sure that when you plumb it up, you know, it can hold together and it doesn't stick to your hand. Okay? So right now with this, I'm only going to I'm going to add some hot water. Okay? Yeah, very to nice. cook the dough. Oh, that's our thermos thermal flask. Thermal yeah. flask which keep the water hot. So I'm just going to use the kettle mode. See, there's so many features in here that it is so easy to use. Oh, oops. Okay, so I'm just going to start cooking it. The water hot. Now it's already, because I'm adding hot water, so the temperature is going up. I'm only using 20 grams. Agak agak lah, I don't have to be exactly. This part that I'm doing is actually to make the dough actually soft. Okay? So, even for ang ku kueh, you also do this because some ang ku kueh don't have a uh, sort of sweet potato in there, right? So, my auntie actually taught me that using the dough, cook the dough and add into it, then you'll be fine. Okay? Okay, so the rest, I'm going to wait for the kettle mode to come together. This is my first time see Tang Yuan making also. <laughs> ah, 
啊 ，Don't have la， 那像你吃不够，你会哭的。Can yeah yeah， yam kueh can keep， you can use it to steam for breakfast or pan fry for snacks. Is no, I I feel that no need to have. Okay, this is the portion that I'm making. Okay, you don't need to have. Later I'll show you the end product. Then you decide. Because if you still have it, uh, oh, okay. Then maybe you can use our varoma. You know we have our varoma muffin mold. Then maybe you just do portion of it. Yeah. Then you can store one piece by one piece. Yeah. Maybe that that's another option that you can do rather than make a big one and then slice to keep. But seriously, 很好吃 You will not. You you will not have left over. 真的真的 It's very nice. You must give a little bit. You all can see, cannot smell. My, my, the whole studio smells so fragrant. So for those who have yet to see our demo, yeah, you contact your advisor or call in Thermomix Singapore. You can arrange a demo uh, for you. Yeah, you can come to our little studio here. There are four studios in office. Okay, so right now the water is boiling. So what I do is I add in, I break up the dough into smaller pieces, and then I just add it in. Oh, that's how you do steam. Yeah, this is to help to this process is to make the dough soft. Oh. So what I do is that I'm just only cooking a little bit of the dough. Cook till it floats up. I'm going to show you after it floats up. And then you add into the main dough. Oh, so the dough is not done yet. So this is just a portion of it. Yeah, that's right. So as to soften the dough. Correct. Do you know what she do? She's a cook. I'm very good cook. I am not. I'm just <laughs> only a housewife. <laughs> She's ama. Do very nice cooking. So whenever you see Alice on tutorial or Alice on FB Live, must join. She has a lot of secret recipe. I wouldn't say it's secret recipe. It's that recipes that has been passed down from grandmas to mothers to me, and then I pass down to my children. So this is how we keep the recipes alive, right? Yes. No point keeping it and then you sort of bring it to the grave with you. Okay, so you can see that it's float already, floated already. Cannot see, yeah. So I'm going to take it out to show you. Okay, can you see? Okay, I'm just adding this to the main dough mixture that just now we had, and then I'm going to knead it to all together. For one minute. Okay, so I add it in, just like this. Okay, then I'm going to knead it. Again, go to the knead function and knead for one minute. Knead for one minute. Hmm. Oh, knead for one minute and then come back to Okwe. <laughs> This is so fun. Oh, look at my okwe mixture. Mmm, smells really, really good. Yeah, it's really nice. Can you see all the fumes coming out? It's really, really nice. So at this point of time, we will mix in the mixture, the dough mixture. So we have tapioca flour, rice flour, and I put a little bit of salt. I did not put a lot of salt, mainly because I'm adding in fish sauce. Okay, so this fish sauce, we just need to add 10 grams. Not so much, yeah. Why add fish sauce? Fish sauce gives you that fragrance of the the giam, ah, uh, xiang xiang like that, you know? So, you xiang, you pang, ah. Xiang just a pang, ah. Just a xiang, ah. Yeah? So, about 10 grams, yeah? Then you add water. Water, about 500. So, we always say whether it depends on the, whether your yam is sung or not sung. So this step uh, mm. is critical. Yeah. So Alright. So some people steam up, they say, say, why mine so hard? Then some say, 
why my so soft steam and steam still haven't cooked yet okay so it really depends on your ingredients all right so my mommy always say kiyari e all bui sang ah oh then too bad lah huh? but still nice ah jia jia <laughs> okay so with this you just give it a mix okay so you can do it a five second mix it at speed three okay i met some aunties they say nama wo shemo do bu yong zuo ah okay so ni shemo do bu yong zuo bu yong tan xin yeah so if some auntie likes to do it yourself so this is well mixed after three seconds yeah after five seconds okay it is kind of like mixed together all right okay so for those auntie who say say ah yeah what's the matter for you to okay just now the fly yeah you don't want the five second job done by thermal mix you just help yourself by giving it a stir but no need one it's under the young the oh okay so with that we are going to just get thermal mix to do everything for you because it is really so simple all right so with that we mix already and we need to cook it for 6 minutes okay 6 minutes yeah so you have to let it be uh, be cooked so that it become kue kue like that the texture become kue kue like that okay so cook for 6 minutes at speed 1 Okay, while it's cooking, let me show you the dough that has been kneaded for one minute, right? So now I'm going to take it out and show you how to form the dough to wrap the black sesame in. Oh, so simple! One minute then become like that. Yeah, it's so simple. So I go Ellie's house and eat. Can sure <laughs> anytime. Just give me a call. Now Just I'm give her a call. <laughs> yeah, now I'm staying alone, so you can come anytime. And my house near her, near her. Can <laughs> who else wants to come? Jiso. <laughs> oh, so much to us. Really easy, yeah. And yeah, easy. it's very easy. Okay, so in order for it not to stick to your hand, it actually doesn't stick to my hand very much. Now, actually, I boil the water ready to cook the syrup. So what I did is that I'll add in the osmentus and the sugar and let it infuse it. Okay. Well, I'll take out the. Okay. Wow. Right. I like black sesame. So what you do is divide the dough into twenty portions. How depending on how many portions you have. Okay. The the bowl, the glutinous rice. Can you just help me take out some meat for a bit of the ham? Okay. You can actually use a spatula to cut it. Go into a long lock and then you cut it. So what you do? Okay. Take the dough, form a well in the dough like this. Okay. Take a ball, the round side in, the flat side up. Okay. Then you just close it up. Just roll it. Done. Okay, like this. Okay. 等一下，我有的吃哦。有有有，看的人都有的吃。<laughs> 要过来吃吗 ？Okay, put it in. 
Wow, that makes tongue making tongue and really easy. Yes, you can actually do it with peanut in the same way. Oh, okay, okay. The, you add the butter or oil, and then you leave it in the fridge for just fifteen to twenty minutes for it to for the oil or the butter to harden. Fix shape. Yeah. yeah. So it's easier for wrapping. Yeah, yeah. correct. Mm. Oh, she's really fast. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm doing my can't you see my hands trembling now? <laughs> no. <laughs> steady and fast. <laughs> fast and steady. My hands are trembling. <laughs> so I uh, hope you all like our uh, uh, Facebook. Yeah. Those that just join in, I'm Helen and I'm Alice. Yeah, we are doing Chinese New Year delicacy, yam pui and tang yuan. Yeah. So we are, the yam kueh is almost done ready. So uh, not yet done, but uh, the mixture of it is really easy. Just almost done. And then Alice is doing the tang yuan. Okay. So, I like this color. Yeah, this is the auspicious Chinese New Year color, right? Very nice. So what else do you like us to uh, show you for CNY? You can always uh, write in the message, yeah, on the comments. Yeah, our office treasure lots of feedbacks from all of y'all so that we can prepare even better tutorial for you. Okay, so this is almost done. So what you do is you get your pan ready. Uh, those that you want to make small, um, small kueh, you can use our Veroma silicone mold. Yeah, you can use that one. So you don't need to oil it. If it is for stainless steel of this type, you have to oil it. Okay, mine have this, I call it the year. These two things, yeah. So when you bend it down later, it actually have the height, the kind of like block. So it doesn't block the Veroma. Oh. oh. Yeah. So it is meant this way. If you were to see, yeah. So you see, it, it, it has a space in the, in the bottom. So it's very nice. So this is very, very good hmm. to use. So those that need this, can always ask your advisor la. Or not ask me la, ask me. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, can the tongue then be made the day before export? Okay, what you can do if you can see supermarket, they, those selling is in frozen department, right? So at this stage, what you do is that you can freeze them, okay? You can freeze them and whenever, like the supermarket way, you cook the syrup and then you put it in. Okay. Okay, so the okwe is done, so you can see it is like that kwe kweish. Okay, kwe kweish. Okay. Don't know what is it called. La. My Hokkien is like that la kwe kweish la. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you can see nicely. You pour it out. Okay. Actually 350 gram of uh, yam is almost like a very small yam. Uh, or you if you have to happen to use big yam, then you can just half it. Yeah. For just now, friends who ask whether can you half it even further, actually you can. But those that want to double for this uh, recipe, you can double. All right. Because just now, when after cook, it's only at almost half. Yeah. Not too bad. It's quite okay. All right. All right, so it's about there. So you scrape out whatever you can scrape. Then let me show you the pot. Then some of them will be in shock, but don't be, okay? So this is how the pot will look like. Okay, so some of them say, wow, burn pot like that, how can? Okay, don't worry, Thermomix will be able to wash it for you. And it is very common to to have this type of uh, effects because after the kue finish, because of the starch of the yam, everything, it will definitely have this effect. But you don't you worry, Thermomix, we have pre-clean mode, right? Just now, uh, Alice has shared with you that we have pre-clean mode. So we have this pre-clean mode called the browning. You can use that to, um, to wash your Thermomix. Then after that, just give it a good scrub, it will do. Do you, do you know how to maintain your pot? Yeah? Once a month, for those uh, heavy user, maybe like to do it two weeks, just use lemon and eggshell. Cook, uh, cook inside the Thermomix and then you will get squeaky clean bowl after that. 
Okay, so with that, you just kind of like spread it in, yeah, compress it a bit so that you don't have holes in between when you later cut your kuih kuih. Okay, so you will be able to have it nicely done. Okay, then you have to set it on Varoma, inside your Varoma dish. Okay, can? So this manner, so we have the Varoma dish. Okay, those that are new to Thermomix, whatever you see here is all part of the deal. 2, 3, 9, 8. Okay, so this whole kuih kuih, because of this year, so it will not block the Varoma and it sit in very nicely. Alright, so cover it and collect some water in this tray, in this mixing bowl and steam it for about 30 minutes. You can steam for 30 minutes, then must check. Make sure that the make sure make sure that the kuih is cooked. How do you know when it's the same like cake? When the chopstick pull out is clean, means it's good. Alright? So you will put it in, then you just cover. For those new, you must remember, remove your MC, yeah? If not your Varoma cannot sit properly. Alright, just stack it up. And then just set it to 30 minutes, 3 zero. 30 minutes at Varoma because you want steam, Varoma, and you can do at speed 1 or speed 2. Okay? So look at this Tang Yuan. Tang Yuan. <laughs> Very nice. And then at least will show us how to boil this Tang Yuan inside. Okay, so now my Osmentus um, sugar syrup is ready. Right? Sugar already dissolved. If you can see, actually, I placed a blade cover in there. So I'm going to cook the Tang Yuan through the MC hole. Okay? So set the timer, go back to home. Set the timer for 5 minutes, which is actually don't need 5 minutes, but I'm just going to set it at 5 minutes. You have to just cook until it 100 degrees and do a reverse spoon speed. Okay? So when the water comes to a boiling point, 100 degrees, you add in through the MC hole. Okay? Okay, so right now it's at 85, just a little while longer. Mm. Uh, I made some correction. Just now the steaming, I put 30 minutes uh, because I use hot water. So sometimes if you want to rush it, you can actually fill this up with hot water. Then 30 minutes will be good. But just now this one, I use tap water. So I'm going to up it to 40 minutes. Okay, extra 30 minutes for the water to boil. Extra 10 minutes. Uh, sorry, extra 10 minutes for the water to boil. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so actually at 98 degrees, the water is actually bubbling already. So at, when the water starts bubbling, you can actually drop it in. Then how do we know that it is cooked? Is that it has to float. Once it floats up, you still just let it cook for another uh, about 1 minute, 30 seconds to 1 minute, then you take it out. Alright? Wow, I can hear the thing. Boop, 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 boop. After cook, okay, can hear the water sizzling already. Okay, is at ninety eight degrees now. What I can do now is that I can drop it in. Won't break. Eh? Common question, right? Mm. <laughs> yes, it will not break. So long as it's sealed up properly, it will not break. Okay, if it gets awkward. Okay, sometimes you say that if there is a line. How? So what you do is that, how to seal it back is just using a little bit of water. Okay, just to seal it back. So the blade cover is very useful in this. Correct. This, I'm just uh, waiting for the brain. new blade cover. Are you yes. excited about yes, the new? Yes, yes. I have all my customers asking. We are just very, very sorry that the shipment is delayed. 
that is on the way. Bok 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 also coming in. Yeah. So once it comes in, your advisor will inform you. Okay. So bear with us. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Okay. So now, who wants to buy thermomix? Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, our marketing will contact you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is our Valentine promotion. CNY is coming towards the end by next Tuesday, right? So uh, this one New Year promotion is over. So this is our consider Valentine's promotion. So you see a lot of pinkish, pinkish. Yeah, love is in the air. <laughs> so you will get two thermal server, which is this one. Two of this. Yeah, two one liter thermal server. One of which is 80, so this is worth two, uh, $160. And of course, our most popular promotion is the Cookie Doo voucher, which can last up to 30th June 2023. So it's almost one and a half year of free subscription. So it's really useful. And uh, the other promotion uh, item is actually our 90 days extension of our warranty. Yeah, many, many people ask for it because they always think that. What happened if my boyfriend spoil? Boyfriend, if you say young, then won't spoil one, okay? Love is to be maintained, yeah? Must culture your love, then won't spoil one, okay? <laughs> so this 90 days is really, really uh, just a spare for you. Yes, so don't wait anymore. Place your orders. Yeah. Contact your advisors or yeah. us. Yeah, me, <laughs> Helen, or Alice. Alice. <laughs> okay, so this uh, Tang Yuan left 40 seconds. So at the meantime, maybe I'll just show you the after of the Okwe. Yeah. Okay, so after you steam already, you have to let it cool before you can uh, unmow it. Okay, so must have patience. Just like baking, you must have patience. So once it cool down already, you can pop it over, turn it upside down, turn it over. Then on top, of course, you put spring onions, you put shallot, and of course, if you like chili, put chilies, okay? So, this shallot, yeah, this shallots which we uh, have done, we also use it, uh, use Thermomix to do it, okay? You can find your, find it under the uh, collection called uh, High Temp Asian Cooking, alright? So, you can do this fried shallot. Okay, done, the tang yuan is done. Okay. okay. Ooh, han xiang no. Okay. Let me show you. Is it broken? No. It's not. So nice. Actually, for my own, I always like to put the osmentus flowers in so that it will look, you know, it's like a. Jing, jing, hua, hua, yeah, correct. Oh. So I'm just going to add a bit in. Uh. Wow. How many? So this is the Tang Yuan and this is the Okwe. <laughs> Alright, so we have come so, to the end. This yeah. mini server, that's what I'm going to show you. It's very worth it now to get it. Oops, too much. Oh, the tang yuan is very soft. If you don't like to eat with the soup, you can actually, after cooking it, you toss it with, what we do mm -hmm. is we toss it with peanut and uh, gula malaka. <sighs> or even uh, desiccated coconut. Oh. It's very yummy. Wow. All right.
Many okay. ways of eating tang yen, yeah. Yes. Okay, so this one will have to wait for 40 minutes, uh, left 30, 30 minutes. So I'm sure that you all don't want to wait and look at two of us when you can, we, we have all the food ready here, right? So don't you worry, after steam already, it will look like that. Then you just top up with all your spring onions and your shallots and your chili, yeah? Mm. All right. Uh, you can also put some uh, sesame seed. Correct. Yeah, the white mm. sesame seed. Right. Okay, so I think we are coming to, our, to an end, yeah? So I hope you all like our sessions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. So and wish you all a very happy Chinese New Year. Sing. Good, great health, definitely. Yeah. Right. And Sing Nian Kuai Le, Wan Si Ru Yi. Bye bye.